This video is sponsored by Amino and features a chance to win a $50 gift card to Amazon to buy the new Fire and Blood, a Targaryen history book coming out this November. Amino is a mobile network of communities for every interest on the planet. Doesn't matter your passion, your fandom, or your interests. It has it and has people just as crazy in love with a show, book, music, anything as you. My favorite is Thrones Amino, which has some of the best Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire discussions, photos, theories, and just fun posts. One of my favorite features are the quizzes created by users to see if you're as big of a fan as you think you are. I love to test my Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire knowledge. Or you can take polls to let everyone know that Stannis is the best king. So join me on Thrones Amino by first downloading the Amino app, two, searching for Thrones, and joining. Now to enter my giveaway for a $50 gift card to Amazon to buy Fire and Blood 300 years before A Game of Thrones, A Targaryen History, click the link in the description or pin YouTube comment to download Amino for free on iOS or Android or search your app store. Once you're on Amino, search Thrones to join. From there, answer my post question. What do you most want to see in the final season of Game of Thrones? I'll pick my favorite answer in about a week. There are some locations in Season 8 of Game of Thrones that we're going to see again. I mean, besides the obvious ones like Winterfell and parts of King's Landing. I want to talk about five locations that maybe you didn't expect to see in the final season, but we are going to see. Warning, there are spoilers in this video for the final season of Game of Thrones. All these places have been confirmed to be in the final season through leaks, including photos and video. If you don't want to be spoiled for the final season, please don't watch. Stop it! Okay, so with that warning out of the way, this video I want to talk about some locations we're going to see again in the final season of Game of Thrones and what those locations coming back could mean. Though again, besides the obvious ones like Winterfell and parts of King's Landing. So with that being said, the first place we're going to see again this season is High Garden, which I know probably isn't that exciting for a lot of people. Really, the High Garden scenes were a tad of a letdown, but they led to the awesome Field of Fire 2.0 battle, so I can't hate too much. However, while we are going to see High Garden again this final season, there isn't going to be any new footage. David and Dan, the showrunners, have decided to just use old footage of High Garden. The easiest guess is the old footage will be used for an establishing shot of High Garden before heading inside. Since they do the inside shots in a studio anyways, there's no need to revisit the location used for the outside. What gets more exciting about revisiting High Garden again in the final season is that it's been leaked they're going to add special effects to the old footage. What these special effects are, we don't exactly know, but I, I can take a few guesses. Snow makes a lot of sense as we're likely going to be getting shots of all of Westeros experiencing winter, finally. So a quickie shot to the outside of Highgarden and showing even there winter is reached makes sense. I'd imagine they're going to do the same for Dorne as well to let us know no area is spared. Winter is here. Father always promised, didn't he? Of course, this could also just be an outside shot of High Garden in flames as the Whites are taking it, or after they've already taken it, if you know they even get that far. But I'm still hoping that this is actually just an establishing shot that, hey, winter is here and it's fucking everywhere. If I'm being too optimistic for my own good, which is a dangerous thing with this show. I hope the shot of High Garden is actually for the epilogue where we're going to see Sam inside ruling with his wife Gilly and their million kids. We belong together. All of us. But since Game of Thrones only destroys dreams, never makes them come true, I'm guessing that's a no. But still, we could see High Garden in a flash forward or the epilogue for the series. Please? Next, let's talk about how we're going to see the Iron Islands again this final season. While you may think seeing the Iron Islands again is a no-brainer, I wasn't so sure. We know Euron isn't heading back to the Iron Islands, he's going to Essos. We also know Theon and Yara aren't there, so what's the point of returning to the Iron Islands? I can only think of some really dark things. 
All right, so rewinding a bit, photos leaked a while ago showing that they were using the location that had been used for the Iron Islands in the past, again for filming. A big difference in filming at this location was the lack of daytime hours. All these shots were done at night. And while none of the main actors were spotted, there were a lot of extras around a bonfire. So why the night shots, and why the Iron Islands again? Again, we know Euron is heading to Essos to get the Golden Company for Cersei, so it makes sense we wouldn't spot that actor at this location. So I kind of want to believe they're just going to film at the Iron Island location again because they want to show that Winter has reached there and it's another establishing shot because I don't want to think about the darker implications. The happy thought of mine is, yeah, just like Highgarden, we're seeing winter has touched all of Westeros. The men around the fire are just trying to stay warm. But there's that darker place in my brain that worries, what if these shots of the Iron Islands are showing that the Night King is becoming so powerful, he can raise the dead from far away, and we're seeing attacks in the night? on the Iron Islands. Or, and this is actually even more terrifying since apparently whites can swim and defy physics, even though Jon Snow said they can't swim. Can they swim? No. Good. But I mean, what the fuck does Jon Snow know? You know nothing, Jon Snow. And this wouldn't be the first time the showrunners have contradicted themselves. But if they actually can swim, and Jon Snow does truly know nothing, what if the whites emerge from the sea and just start killing those on the Iron Islands? Can you imagine that scene on the Iron Islands? We see some ironborn around a bonfire talking about how cold it's become all of a sudden, and then whites come out of the ocean and just start fucking stabbing people. We then see the Iron Islands overrun by whites, and then they go back into the water and pop up at the Westerlands. That's nightmare fuel, people. Of course, there's a chance of Theon and or Yara going to the Iron Islands to unite their people for the, what feels like the billionth time. After Theon rescues her, of course. But since Theon doesn't know Euron isn't really going back to the Iron Islands, perhaps he heads there looking for him or to get reinforcements to take down Euron. If you believe the leak that I don't believe, or maybe I just don't want to hurt myself, so I'm choosing not to believe, Damp Hair is going to be in this final season and team up with Theon. So while we are seeing the Iron Islands again this season, I'm hoping more for establishing shots and not, you know, dead things in the water. Okay, let's move on to the Dragon Pit. And I know, I know what you're thinking right now. Where is You said not obvious places like King's Landing. I said parts of King's Landing. That does not include the Dragon Pit. So I get away on a technicality. I didn't really think we'd return to the Dragon Pit again in the final season. I figured they used it for their big meeting and with that over, it had no more use. Or its use would be a scene set after a time jump at the end of the season, showing dragons in the pit once more, thriving. But for another big meeting, that's a bit interesting. So it became apparent they were using the location for the Dragon Pit again some months ago with a crazy amount of leaks. And then the filming lasted much longer than I thought it would and we got a huge surprise during this time. A lot of actors turned up during this filming at the Dragon Pit. From the actors that were spotted in this area while filming was taking place, among them Arya, Sansa, Tyrion, Bran, Davos, Jaime, Brian, Gendry, Jon, Sam, Cersei, Jorah, Robin, and Varys, this could mean a lot of these characters meet up again for a scene at the Dragon Pit. That's a lot of big actors in one place, but that could make sense. From all the leaks we've seen, some shit's gonna go down in the North, and there's going to be some heavy, heavy losses. I'm still of the belief that John, Danny, and friends are forced to flee south after an incredibly brutal fight with the others. There they have yet another meeting with Cersei, letting her know we all need to stand together now. Like, for realsies this time. No backstabbing. Though, of course, she's always gonna backstab, so fuck that bitch. The fact we saw photos of the Unsullied at the Dragon Pit, some of which were quickly deleted, I don't know, it just makes it all make sense. Danny is going to have her men with her at the Dragon Pit and probably be a bit more pissy with Cersei. And if Danny's dead, Jon's going to be there also a bit pissy. Lastly, on the Dragon Pit, there were some actors there that I think are a troll, but I'm going to talk about it anyways because you can decide for yourself. Jack and the Wave and the Night King were all spotted there. I know. 
sounds really stupid. Jack and being there makes sense. The faceless men serve the many-faced god, and they're super into death. Something that is perverting that would likely anger them, and stopping the Night King could be a goal of theirs, if they don't see him as a manifestation of their god, which I, I don't think they will. The Waif, honestly, since her face was taken, anyone could be wearing it, so that really isn't that concerning to me. The Night King being at the Dragon Pit, where it goes a bit too far. I mean, what? Is everyone going to meet there for some tea and talk about their feelings and who gets what in the Seven Kingdoms? I can see the Night King landing his dragon in the Dragon Pit and then just going about just killing everyone. I can't see the Night King landing in the Dragon Pit to have a meeting with other characters. That being said, I would love for the Night King to talk in the final season and share why he's kind of a dick. But I'll let you decide on this one if you think the Night King is at the Dragon Pit landing his dragon in the city, if he's meeting with some of the characters or all of them, or if he's there for an emotional show and tell. Next, and maybe not that exciting, sorry. Tullymore Forest Park is being used again. This location was used for multiple forest scenes, one being where they found direwolves, another being where John was heading to the Night's Watch. I have a couple ideas what they could be using this location for in the final season of the show. Personally, I'd love for there to be a time jump for an epilogue to show how Westeros is recovering post beating the Night King and his army. Maybe we see some of the characters we love with their kids playing in a forest. I don't know. I'm delusional. Since this location has also been used for colder and scarier scenes, this could be a horror-ish chase scene instead of something happy. We see northerners fleeing from the White Walkers through the forest, being hunted down and slaughtered to rise up again. A lot of tense nighttime stalking scenes could take place at this location, and they've done creepy here before. And very successfully, might I add. Okay, moving on, and maybe a bit more exciting, we're going to see Dragonstone again this season. Well, maybe that's not exciting, especially since we thought we were done with this location when Danny left for the North. But we've had leaks that this location is going to be used again in the final season. Not only that, but they built a new set at the mouth of the cave they use for the Dragonglass Mine. Also that beautiful birthing scene. So perhaps seeing Dragonstone again this season does make sense if Danny and or John left a small amount of people here to hold Dragonstone and to mine for Dragonglass, as every little bit is probably going to be needed. I kind of prefer this location being used as showing, hey, uh, people are still mining Dragonglass to be used for weapons because I don't want to think about Danny fleeing from the north heavily pregnant to die in childbirth on Dragonstone like her mother did with her. Fuck, that's dark. So Dragonstone and perhaps the Dragonglass Mine will be utilized this season. We're also going to be seeing Castle Black again this season. I thought maybe with the wall being breached at Eastwatch and the others already moving past it, we really didn't need to see the wall again. But of course, we still have locations along the wall that aren't breached and have both wildlings and men of the Night's Watch serving. Ed's actor already let it slip that he'll be in the final season at Castle Black. And we know Tormund survived the breach and will also be seen this season, so we're going to see something around the wall. Best bet is Ed gets news that the wall has been breached, or maybe he heard it because that was probably really fucking loud, and now he's taking men to either slow down the others or maybe warn John that the wall has been breached. But honestly, once they learn the wall is breached, why would they stay at Castle Black? There, there's no point. So I have to believe Ed is going to try to go aid John. Lastly, we'll be seeing Essos again this season, but I'm unsure of how much of it. All that has been leaked is Euron will arrive at Essos, come into contact with the Golden Company, which he is hiring to come back to fight for Cersei. Will other characters pop up here and perhaps start working for Cersei too? Feeling slighted? We'll see. Oh, oh, and really quick, Wintertown actually will be back too, and it's going to be the first scene we see this season. Okay, so those are some of the locations we'll see again in the final season of Game of Thrones, and what seeing those locations again could mean. Again, besides the fucking obvious ones, let me know your theories on what's going to happen at these locations in the final season in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more videos.